Hey folks, so I want to answer the question what do you do if you want to train sword fighting at home but you don't have actually any swords. Okay, let's begin. Number one. But a dust wiper at home? Good, because its staff is one of the best sword simulators you can have. Its adjustable length easily lets you adapt to one-handed or two-handed sword play and its weight distribution is actually not too bad. So you can easily train complex movements like cuts, thrusts and even grip changes with the staff of a dust wiper. The only drawback is its light weight, which you have to manage. You can even go for sword and buckler training if you put your second hand up front so you have something to work around. Number 2. An umbrella. A solid umbrella out of wood would be perfect, but actually this lightweight one is pretty okay too. The grip feels crap, but for the weight distribution that's fine. And actually has a bit of momentum to it, which helps. Number 3. A water spirit level. If you have put pictures at the walls of your home, you probably have a water spirit level. That's not pretty nice. Weight, distribution and momentum are pretty crappy, but it actually has two edges, so that's something. Number 4. A hammer. Another tool you've probably got at home is a hammer. A heavier one and even a longer one would be probably better, but actually weight distribution is pretty fine. It doesn't have too much momentum, but actually the grip is pretty nice, so that's something. Just be aware because of its short length, you would actually be able to cut through your own body, which wouldn't be possible if you trained with the actual long sword. Number 5. A wooden spoon. If you're really desperate or you just want to have something to do while your noodles are cooking away, just take a couple of wooden spoons, put them together and voila, there's your sauce simulator. Again, it's pretty short, weight distribution is kind of crappy, but actually that's better than nothing. Number 6. A water bottle thirsty anymore? Well, you're in luck, because a water bottle is one of the better training tools actually. It has the right weight if you put enough water in it and actually some momentum which makes it quite nice to handle. Just experiment with it and try it out. Number 7. The grip of a dumbbell. Got dumbbells at home for training? You can easily take the grip and make your own sword simulator or even maze simulator out of it. Just grip it behind the gravity point and you're good to go. Number 8. The tube of a vacuum cleaner. If you finish cleaning your house, pick up the tube of the vacuum cleaner. It has adjustable lengths, just as the staff of the dust wiper, but actually has a bit more weight to it, so it feels pretty nice. Number 9. The shoehorn. The shoehorn is a surprisingly nice sword simulator. It actually has two real edges, so you can change between different grips and it actually has some momentum to it, so it feels pretty nice. Bonus tip is to just wrap a towel around the grip. It actually feels like a real short sword.
Number 10. Use your hands. If you don't have any tools at hand, just use your hands. So I do this all the time if I'm at the train or anywhere else and actually if no one looks. But it's quite nice to train some movement patterns. You have two edges, back and front. You can train thrusts, you can train footwork. It all really supplements your overall training. So to conclude, just be creative. Find something long with some weight to it and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon.